Hey everybody, Franklin Thorpe Gamer, back with more Thousand Your Door. Uh, I'm pretty sure we got the contact lens. Did I save? Wait, first of all. Okay, yep. Meaning we already talked to Don Pianta, I think. Yeah, I did save afterwards. Basically, he's looking for his daughter and, and his her boyfriend. Which is also an assistant of Don Pianta. But that's easy findings because... I'm sorry, I can't pass up a save block without saving. That's easy findings because they are right down here. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something or are you just slide siddling up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know how, what he'll do if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm-like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. <laughs> more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But, Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. Y we can, Frankie. The more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until, you mar until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames with passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. You can do that. No way, sob sister. Wh what did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man. Fine, have it your way, at BK. Okay. Yeah, I, never mind, I lied. I can pass up a save block. But yeah, so then... Well, whatever should we do? Oh, you're retarded. Okay. All we have to do is uh, just... Even though we said, like, even though they, did, they didn't come with us, uh, we just report them to Don Pianta, and he'll take care of everything. Om nom. Referring to the Goomba that looks like he's om nomming on grass. On the grass and flowers in that little garden area. Oh, look who's come back to... <laughs> ah, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna brighten my wood? Mood? My wood? My wood? Okay, cool. So, <laughs> I suck at reading. So give what you got. Okay, sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Rougeport Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods, the kids are at the harbor. Now go get them! Daddy, wait! Francesca! Boss, forgive me, boss, I'm sorry, truly am. Frankie, so, back you come, head hung low, and with your tail behind your legs. I mean, behind your legs? <laughs> Between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me, Elope. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back to talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, 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 no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. Okay, yeah, they're just say they're taking the blame. Like, both of them. And then it's like, yeah! Enough! Quiet, both of you. Francisca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you, too. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss! I don't ever want to see your mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go, do what you want, even if it means you. If even, even, even oh, I suck at reading. Dad, no, I mean, but boss. 
Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for the blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter ha a happy woman. I promise you, she'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go, Sniff. Seeing you dishappy makes me happy, too. Congrats, both of yous. Yeah, basically saying goodbye, Daddy. And then, uh, then it's like, ooh, well, you did what I asked you to do. So, here you go. Now we just had to he have, we have to head on to the limp to Rouge port. And with that being said, let's just head over in that direction. My, my, we've done it, Mario. Next stop, Glitzville. Yeah, I wasn't looking... Oh, yeah. We got an email. Who could it be from? Coopley. That's not Coopley. That's Chaos Emeralds. Ah, good old Chaos Emeralds. You, you'd have to see the first few. It was when I was still incorporating inside jokes, and I still kind of do, but... Whatever. I, I'll just say I called Coops' dad Chaos Emeralds, and Coops had a shadow voice. Shadow the Hedgehog. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Would you be joining us on our flight today? Ah, please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step and step aboard. Yep, that's the blimp. It looks really, really stupid, especially in this next sequence of the opening of the chapter. Then it looks really stupid. I mean, jeez. <laughs> it just looks retarded. I'm sorry, my phone's ringing in the background if, if that picks it up. It, it, my, my phone's all the way on the other side of the room. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. Okay, I wasn't really looking forward to this part. I love this chapter, I will say that. But I wasn't looking forward to recording it because of all the fighting you do, and I was just. De yeah, I was debating with myself whether or not I should or shouldn't cut battles out. I'm thinking I shouldn't because most of them are new enemies, so. Yeah, that was kind of a long sequence. Oh, wait. Okay, we need to get the sizes right. Look how big the blimp is. Look how big Mario is. And look how big the platform is compared to everything. And now you're tiny. I mean, if you just look back in the video, just compare the different sizes. It's just, it's hard to explain. Welcome to Glitzville, yay! My, 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 Glitzville, I've heard that the Glitz Pit is just full of brawny brawls. Yeah, okay, we get what it looks like. Because the actual Glitzville Arena building looks like a dojo! Now, darling, let's find that crystal star, hmm? Okay. wanted to do that and then something else really really quick what's that I'm not sure if there's anything else out here that I can really get as of right now so let's head into the building it's Miss Mouse what a surprise there's something I really really want to do here now, this isn't even that, that much of a, it, like, significant glitch, but it is a glitch, and it's pretty funny to look at. Just use coops, do that. And then if you step over here, I I'm wondering if I do this right. Step over here, then it'll start heading towards you. Like, talk to this guy or something. And then, look, he'll try to jump through, and then eventually he'll, he'll start to manage. And then, watch. I'm pretty sure that soon he'll be able to walk through the wall. If he just tries hard enough. 
Yeah, see, he, he, you can barely see it, but he did walk through the staircase. It was just, it's just a really weird glitch I kind of wanted to show everybody. Anyways, let's get this show on the road then. Go up here and enter these doors.